So I haven't done a video in a while and mostly that's just because I've been sort of just getting into the groove of things. Um, I mean every day is pretty much the same. You know, you crawl out of bed that you get really sore in because it's the back seat and you're scrunched up into a ball and all your joints hurt and, and you know, waddle over to the closest bathroom half asleep <laughs> looking like a mess in front of everybody that's around at the time because you never really do get away from people Every day is a challenge because you're always in a constant search of food, for one thing. Food that you can eat without having a fridge or even a cooler. Um, food is more expensive when you live in your car because you're getting ready-made food or smaller amounts of something that you can actually fit in your car. Um, you know, buying one yogurt instead of a pack, you know, stuff like that buying smaller quantities of or a smaller size of something is generally more expensive uh, there are a few food programs available around town where you can go have a meal can't have dogs so I can't go to those there is one that I can go to Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday and I can pick up a pack lunch and take that with me that's good um, bathrooms. I mean, still constantly on a search for a bathroom and lo and behold, most of the time you find a bathroom and then it's closed for cleaning or it's not open at that time or it's, you know, kind of toilet paper or what have you, right? And uh, that's real fun, especially I got my period for the first time since I've been homeless and you know, I'm just throwing out underwear, I'm, you know, trying to use wipes to try and stay clean because, of course, I'm not really showering ever. Um, just smelling like dried blood and it's just, oh, it's just, it was so gross. Like, I got to a point where next time I think I'm just going to buy um, adult diapers because it'll just be easier, um, you know bleed into that and then throw it away um, so there's that um, uh, shade and Wi-Fi is a huge thing like right now I'm somewhere where there's Wi-Fi there's a tiny bit of shade so I put up a blocker and stuff but it's still like piping hot because it's so hard in the city to find shade let alone shade Wi-Fi in a bathroom and quite often you can't get you know all three and it's it's almost like it's done on purpose that the places you can park are devoid of trees or any sort of shade and um, the ones that are in the shade you can't get Wi-Fi from them so it's like almost like the city has set it up purposely so that people can't live in their cars anywhere in this city which makes it really really hard for me um, and I'm spending a ton in gas like I spent $30 yesterday in gas um, because I had to go from where I was sleeping out to my son's house pick him up go to my parents go have a visit there then go back drop off my son and then go back to my sleeping place I spent $30 in gas just yesterday that's it. Just doing that. That's all I did. Didn't go anywhere else. <laughs> so it's it's just it's all adding up. I mean, I am thankful to be in a really gorgeous city. There's you know I'm surrounded by the ocean and all that kind of stuff. So it is nice in that respect. And I'm thankful it's summertime, so I'm not freezing. <laughs> uh, though it is easier to sort of cover up than it is to. <laughs> cover down or uncover but yeah just an update to be like hey things are sort of normalizing I'm getting used to the idea I'm thinking about doing van life but I would need a shower and a toilet and a bed that I can actually stretch my legs out in so yeah 
<laughs> now to fund that, I guess, is the next step. 